Welcome to Dial Up Your Website. My name is Laura Cioretti, and I'm the CEO of Nowhere Consultants. We're a digital strategy shop located right here in the heart of Kansas City, Missouri. And today I'm gonna to walk you through all the ways in which the MailChimp Website Builder can help you build a professional website in less than an hour. We are official MailChimp partners, which means that we always love looking for ways to help our clients integrate all their marketing under one roof. And if you have any questions about the content in this video or just your web presence in general, we would love to talk. You can find us in the MailChimp Experts directory. All right, so in this video, we're gonna cover a couple of things. Uh, we're gonna start off by talking about how easy it is to build a professional website using the MailChimp Builder. I'm gonna offer some expert advice on how to create a beautiful homepage. Uh, and then we're gonna talk about the most important part, which I think is, is to drive some traffic uh, to be able to get your prospective customers to click and engage with your brand. The cool part about this is that we're actually gonna use a real life test case. Uh, so we're gonna use a, a, a company called Monsoni, that's actually my side hustle. And what they do is they build luxury uh, kitchen countertops out of anodized titanium. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I want to address is that we all know that there's lots of website builders out there on the market. And a couple of the reasons though that I really like the MailChimp Builder uh, is really that they do put design first, right? They make it super easy with integrated color palettes and really great templates and layouts. You've got these beautiful integrations with Unsplash photography, right? So you've got you know, thousands of beautiful stock photos right at your fingertips. And you don't have to have any coding experience to be able to get this website put together because they allow you to have real-time edits in each section. There's no drag and drop, nothing frustrating. It's super straightforward to load your content, pick some beautiful photos and get moving. The other thing I really like is uh, that it's fully integrated with all of the MailChimp tools that you already know and love. So it's super easy to integrate this with your newsletter. It's really easy to integrate this with your social media strategy. Uh, and it's super straightforward to try uh, paid advertising or any of that kind of stuff, all from under one MailChimp roof. So now that I've kind of talked through why we like the MailChimp Builder, I'm gonna dive into four main tips for how to design a beautiful, effective homepage using the MailChimp Builder. The first thing I'm gonna talk about is making sure that all of your content and messaging is above the fold. The second thing I'd like to address is making sure you have a really strong contact section and uh, a strong call to action or CTA. Uh, we're gonna talk about how to leverage good content, and then we're also gonna talk about using beautiful imagery to sell your story and your brand. All right, so let's go ahead and dive into tip number one, which is making sure that all of your messaging and content that's super important is above the fold. And just for you folks that don't know, when I say above the fold, I mean that that is the first thing that anybody on any device is going to see. So this is a great place to put your H1 tag or your main heading tag, which is all right built into the, the builder, by the way. Um, but in the case of Monsoni, uh, you know, I knew that we were going to be talking to luxury homeowners, right? And I knew that it was really important uh, and that one of our unique selling positions is that our countertops are made out of anodized titanium. So not only did I want to make sure that I was leading with a beautiful photo in my hero section uh, from Unsplash of a, of a gorgeous kitchen, right, that evoked the lifestyle that I think that my user is going to resonate with, but I also wanted to make sure that the headline that I chose was really descriptive and gave people an instantaneous understanding of what it is that we do. The, the final piece there is that I also wanted to make sure that I had a really strong and easy uh, call to action button right there in that first hero section to make it really clear that like, this is the action that I want you to take now that you've visited my website. In the case of Monsoni, I really want people to join the wait list. And I chose that language pretty intentionally because I want it to feel, you know, very exclusive, right? Like this is not an everyday product and this is not just something that, you know, I want anyone to be able to, to purchase necessarily. Um, and so we're trying to set the tone immediately right there in that first header section. The next tip that I'm gonna dive into is all about having a good up-to-date contact information and strong calls to action. So I mentioned my call to action in the beginning, which for us is join our wait list, uh, but it could really be anything, you know, depending on what your business is or what your goals are or what action you want your customer to take. It could be sign up for our newsletter. It could be follow us on social. Um, you know, it could be all sorts of things, but you wanna make sure that you are capturing that client's information and enticing them to take the next step. Another thing that's really great about the built-in uh, contact forms that come in the MailChimp Builder is that they're automatically connected straight to the MailChimp CRM. So what that means is that you get all of your client information under one roof. Within each section in your website builder, 
uh, you have the choice to be able to put you know, a, a contact section or a newsletter sign up section, uh, a contact form, all that kind of stuff. I'll also, if you check out the footer section, which is fully editable in the builder, you have uh, you know, the uh, opportunity to drop your social media icons in there, your address, uh, which by the way, this is a great opportunity when you're setting up your business to take a minute and go head over to Google My Business and make sure that you have an accurate listing set up. I know it can be a little intimidating and it can seem like super serious, um, but making sure that that information is, is up to date and accurate is gonna save you a lot of hassle in the long run. And then making sure that that is fully integrated down there in the footer and throughout each section on your website is gonna be really useful. I know in our experience, especially with brand new businesses, folks are really coming to your site for like a couple of reasons. They either wanna spend money with you, they wanna stay up to date with what you're doing, or they wanna be able to pick up the phone and call you or send you a quick email. So making sure that you've got accurate info set up, it's gonna be really crucial to offering a good customer experience. The third tip I wanna go over uh, is all about good content. So. This is something else that's really easy inside the builder. Uh, I know we did it for Monsoni because I mean, we're going up against a lot of luxury brands that have you know, a lot of legacy marketing, right? They're more well known than we are. They have more money than we do. I mean, all of those you know, kind of typical things, right? And so for us, it's, it's really gonna be about meeting our clients' sales objectives before they have a chance to leave. <laughs> so in our case, we went ahead and wrote a blog post uh, called the 10 reasons titanium belongs in your kitchen. Right, because I can, I can already hear in my mind like people thinking to themselves like, isn't titanium like really industrial and like, it's gonna be hard to clean and you know, it could be really difficult to maintain and I wanted to get ahead of all of that and be able to say, nope, here's the 10 reasons that uh, this absolutely belongs in your home and, and why you're gonna be really happy that you made this purchase. Another thing I wanna make sure that I mention when it comes to leveraging good content uh, is the value of social proof. So if you can, even if you've only ever sold to your friends and family, cause like, let's be real, we've all, you know, had those sales, uh, go ahead and reach out to them and ask them, you know, what did you like? What do you think I'm doing well? Uh, and not only are you gonna get a ton of great feedback about your business and your new idea, but you're gonna get some really valuable social proof and testimonials to add to your website. The fourth tip is all about imagery. And so let's go ahead and get into that a little bit. Uh, this Unsplash integration makes it super easy to have beautiful professional photos all throughout your website. I know with Monsoni, it was also gonna be important for us to be able to showcase the work that we've done and show a couple of examples and sample pieces uh, so that folks can really get their heads around anodized titanium because like, what's that, right? <laughs> so we needed to be able to show them and not tell them. So we have an entire section uh, that we built out, you know, that's called about Monsoni, and it really gets a little bit into the process, but then also showcases the work that we've done. Um, and we're actually working on having some fun, you know, examples uh, or drafts of, of what we think a, a cool, beautiful anodized countertop could look like that we're gonna work on getting up there. Uh, you know, so if you head over and check out the site, you know, stay tuned, right? Because we're, we're enjoying the build out process. All right, so we've come to our third segment here, uh, which is actually my very favorite part about launching a website, which is figuring out like, how do you take this beautiful thing that you've built and actually get people to come and click or come and visit or come and spend money with you, uh, whatever that is, right? How do you get your site live? Uh, so, you know, you've rocked your content, the site looks beautiful and you are so ready to go. This is where the funds begins. So. For a couple things we're gonna talk about. One is uh, the value of SEO, which stands for search engine optimization. And then the value of being able to convert users once they land on your site. So let's talk about SEO for a minute. Search engine optimization at its core uh, can be pretty technical, but there are some really like straightforward ways uh, that, that you as a sort of a brand new business can get your foot in the door uh, when it comes to uh, you know, getting your head around SEO. And also there's some really nice uh, built-in features that the MailChimp Builder provides you with to make sure that you come out swinging. So we'll talk a little bit about the features first. Your site is automatically secured with an SSL, right? Which means it's nice and secure. Your customers are gonna feel really good about giving you their information because they know that you're a trusted uh, domain and trusted website. MailChimp makes it really easy for you to drop in your site specific description, right? So this is a great place for some of your keywords, you know, maybe the company name, all that kind of stuff. Uh, so, you know, with Monsoni, uh, I knew for us, it was gonna be really important to get some of those main keywords right there in the site description, like luxury kitchen countertops, 
uh, luxury interior design, those kinds of things. MailChimp also lets you set up your social media preview image. So anytime you or someone else wants to share or tag your business, uh, it pops up nice and clean, looks really beautiful. And then all of your websites that you build inside of MailChimp pop out of the box mobile friendly, which is huge. The other thing, uh, you know, when it comes to SEO is uh, you can actually take a, a few minutes and sit down and, and put yourself in the mindset of your potential customer. So just head on over to Google. You know, you can type in, um, you know, cool kitchen countertop designs or cool kitchen interior ideas. Um, you know, or maybe you're in the fitness space, right? And you're looking for, you know, best home training opportunities near me. Whatever that is, you're gonna, you're gonna pull up and you're gonna see who's on the first page of Google, right? And you can ask yourself some critical questions at this point. What are they doing well, right? So how can I learn from them? Uh, what are they missing, right? So where can you come in with your voice and add a lot of value? And then, you know, what question isn't being answered? What am I not seeing, right? So as you start to go through and, and you know, put on your marketing hat, uh, you can then take that and let that research inform how you write your content on your website, how you fill, fill out that site description, all that kind of good stuff. So that's one piece, right? The next is really talking about traffic and what do you do when you get people to your website? So the nice thing about the MailChimp Builder is that because it is a fully integrated system, uh, you can actually go ahead and experiment right away with things like uh, paid advertising, which you can do from inside your MailChimp Builder, right? You can play around with some boosted posts, you know, making a small investment and just testing to see what kind of people are going to come to your website and then asking them to take the next step. Uh, you can also, uh, you know, make sure that you're capturing their email address, right? Which can absolutely be a kind of conversion. Uh, and the MailChimp Website Builder makes that super easy because it's integrated fully with their pop-up forms. Um, so you can, you know, maybe it's on exit or before somebody, you know, scrolls all the way to the bottom of the page. Uh, it's a really effective way. There's a reason that that is still a thing because it works, right? People do ultimately want to hear from brands that they are interested in, right? And an email is a great way to do that. The other really cool thing uh, that I think is worth mentioning is that MailChimp uh, integrates a lot of that with marketing automation. So you can set up a really, really simple automated email so that whenever somebody drops their name and info on your website or says, yeah, go ahead and add me to your mailing list, uh, that it's, it'll automatically send them a welcome email, welcoming, welcoming them to uh, your newsletter, letting them know what they can expect, right? So, you know, we're gonna send you monthly updates showcasing our latest products, right? Or we've got a daily free workout that we're gonna share with you, so, you know, be, t be prepared and stay tuned. Uh, whatever that is, but it's a really nice, easy way to take some of the pressure off of you uh, while still delivering a great customer experience. Thanks again for watching. This has been Dial Up Your Website, and I, I hope you guys have found this really helpful and inspiring. I know that we're all really excited to see what great ideas you're gonna go put out on the internet. Uh, I'm Larissa Uretti with Nowhere Consultants, and if you have any questions along the way about MailChimp or MailChimp websites, uh, or just your web presence in general, you can find us in the MailChimp Experts directory. Uh, we're also gonna take a second and throw up some links and resources to help you get started. Thanks.